Hey, what's up, guys? It's Smallies, and I just wanted to share Rod and Real Arsenal, Arsenal um, 2014 with you guys. Uh, you might say it's a lot of rods. I do buy most of these by myself. Sometimes they're from my dad. Sometimes, um, sometimes they're going for presents or whatever. But don't, yeah. Start off. Here's just my flipping stick. Um, just heavy line, 65 pound test. Old, old flipping stick. Um, it's the Bass Pro Shops Bionic, old, old Bionic ones when they actually used to be pretty good. Just one of the first rods I got. Uh, here is my favorite setup out of all of these. Well, favorite setup, I don't know, my favorite one broke, but this is my favorite setup now. Um, Devil's Horse, Dio Jupiter Rod. Um, and a Sitka reel with a 15 pound big game. This rod is just awesome. I mean, you can throw anything on it. It's got enough back mount for spinner bait, a jig. You can also crank with it. You can throw big, bigger top waters with it. Maybe a pop bar. But, uh, yeah. I'm not going to show you this one because it's exactly the same. This has got a little bit lighter line on there. Here is uh, one of my other favorite rods. It's just a field and stream rod. I don't, it doesn't even have a name on it. Uh, field, yeah, just, just field and stream. Um, 610 heavy action. It was, uh, at Dick's, it was $120. I got it on sale for 40 so I just thought I'd buy it. This reel itself is like 40 And it's like a Shimano, um, Shimano, uh, KS, I, I don't really know how to say it, but it's kind of a cheap reel from Shimano. It still works pretty good. Um, it's a, it came with a combo, so 40 bucks. I mean, paid for itself already. I've already won. Well, I haven't won a tournament yet, but I got some third and got like 300 bucks, so paid for itself. Here's a new rod that I got. It's a, it's my light flipping stick. It's a, uh, I think, 7 8 heavy. Not extra heavy like that one. Um, it's got a black max. I'm gonna get a better reel for it. It's got a skinny dipper on there now. Uh, I could throw an Alabama rig on this if I wanted to. It's 50 pound braid. I can throw a frog. Just to get a rod for heavy cover. I could even flip, uh, put like 20, 20 pound mono on here and flip uh, bushes and even clear water stuff. Uh, God, I got a bunch of stuff in the way here. Sorry. Next is just my just an all around pretty good rod, seven foot medium heavy. It's kind of like the typical bass rod. Uh, you can throw anything from a spinner bait to a jig to a, uh, I mean to a frog. Twenty pound big game. It's a little stiff for a medium heavy. It's like a Pro Max Ivy Garcia rod. I got it on a combo, but my dad has that reel. It's got buzz bait on there, Silver Max reel. Looks it looks good with this reel though. I like it. I'm going to use that tomorrow. Uh, next. My favorite rod broke that had this reel on it. It was like a Shimano Compre spinnerbait rod. It was awesome. But this is just an old Fluger Summit rod that my dad gave me. It's still an awesome rod. It's 7 foot medium heavy. And that's got a Shimano Corrado 200G7. Um, yeah, it's a good rod. I was throwing a speed worm on there swimming it through grass. That's why he's got that little Texas rig on there. So next up here is just my old uh, Bass Pro Shops cranking stick, six six. It's good for little crankbaits. Uh, I honestly like to put really heavy line on it and fish just around like crap, like man-made stuff. It's not really good deep cranking rod or you know it's kind of a cheaper setup with an old, really old like Silver Max reel. Like the first Silver Max model. Here, uh, my friend gave me this rod. I traded him. Well, I traded him a reel for this. I traded him a rod for this reel. It's just a Skeet Reese, like seven to one gear ratio. I have it on this Japanese made, kind of an older rod that my dad gave me. It is an awesome, like, top water slash crankbait rod. I love it. Um, it's like six. Six, 
Six ten, I think. Um, it's an all star rod. I, mean, I don't think it's Japanese, but obviously, but I think it's like it's just like a little different. They don't make them anymore. It's a good little rod. Got a lot of fish on it. Next is my like deep cranking rod. Um, deep cranking to like clear water cranking. It's just like a, like a good cranking rod. A little bit newer. A split grip. I got a uh, lose tournament MG speed spool on here. I need to put some new line. I usually just put like 12 pound fluorocarbon on there to deep crank. This is like one of my favorite things to do on ledges. Uh, next up, I got my two spinning rods. I got some more spinning rods. Like, I got one there. I don't even know what it is, but and I got a couple there. But these are the main ones I use for tournaments. This is just a Shimano Celsius. Uh, Let's see, shaky head rod. There's a little shaky head there. I don't know if it'll focus. But, uh, it's a long rod. It's like 7 2. I keep hitting stuff with it because I'm not used to spinning rods this long. Um, it's got like a little, um, quantum, like, T Vex here. Uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon. Good shaky head slash. You can throw top water on it if you want to. Uh, drop shot. Next is my heavier spinning rod. I throw um top waters on this. I just got ten pound mono. Sometimes I'll even throw like a split shot rig, like a mini Carolina rig on it. Or Cinco Weightless or something. But a Shimano Sonora Vengeance by Abu Garcia. Cheaper rod. Abu Garcia. So yeah, that's about it for my rods. It's a lot, I know. Um, so just, uh, subscribe, drop a like if you want to, um, my channel has a lot of tips and whatnot, so, look up some of my other videos, and, uh, see you later, goodbye.